Hello, Dragon Ball Infinity. I am your DBI admin, Eichenbahn. And today we're going to have another RP Spotlight, this time on Nova. Um, in the last RP Spotlight, I talked about a lot of the characters that belong to Seru. But for this one, I have to... I just... I can't... I can't do every character that Rizian has written um, because this character, Nova, is, again, one of the most important characters in the entire setting um, and is so prolific, so powerful, so important um, that like they need their own episode of this all on their own. Um and because I, I just really want to spend the time and show my one of my best friends here uh, just how much I love this character. I love Nova. Um, I think that Nova is one of the most the most balanced, most well written characters on the channel. Um, there's a few others that I would put into that category, but I don't think that anyone hits all the the high notes the way that Nova has. Um, and that has a lot to do with how this character was built, who she is, uh, all of the different story elements that Rizian has employed over the years in order to tell her story, and the fact that it has been such a slow roll in order to in, in order for him to tell us everything that we kind of need to know, and and yet there are still depths to this character that we have not yet really explored. Um, so yeah, today's RP Spotlight, or this RP Spotlight, is about Nova. Nova Leska, the, the strongest, the mightiest, uh, the most powerful, the, the unabashedly most trained, greatest martial artist in the roleplay universe. And I'm not being facetious with that, I'm not exaggerating. This character has way, has, has a history that is so far and beyond any other character when it comes to the martial arts that it's kind of hard to compare them to anyone else. Nova is large, has largely been a retired character for quite a while. They hit their stride and their like maximum power way before anybody else did, and there's just there's just no way to kind of talk about this character without going into going into the backstory and the backstory is what has really illuminated and made Nova the character that I think that she is and this was a backstory that took Rizian like five years to kind of unfurl and it's still not done we only got through chapter one of this backstory uh, last year so we've only seen like chapter one of the Psy Hardens or, or the the last of the Psy Hardens last year like it finished last year and there's still more to go there's still the entire story that is going to going to happen on Kayase and this character has <laughs> I mean I'm just going to put it this way uh, last year uh, at the at the height of the Dragon Ball Hunt, at the height of Combat Month, um, every single, almost every single major fighter went up against Nova. Uh, they they challenged her, and every single one of them fell. Kishiro was beaten. Uh, Yugen was beaten. Genesis was beaten. And this is following the tales of her fight with Endon, where she, you know, like, where it was a ambiguous draw um this character has beaten every major character in the setting even went on to uh during the dragon ball hunt take down hypo and is it, they're basically they're basically the the top character there is no question in anyone's mind that if you ask them who is the strongest uh it's nova it's nova Leska. she absolutely is the strongest warrior in the universe and it is not undeserved. Uh, her backstory as a as the last heir of the Psy Hardens begins a long time ago, uh, t 15 to 20 years ago on the world of Nig Yellow, as a slave uh, to a Isarian named Kwai. Her parents 
killed in fighting pits, her brother taken and enslaved and taken to other parts of the universe, she becoming uh, becoming the heir to the Cyhardens after a bout in Mion Fair uh, until she is recognized and noticed by uh, Sun Yu and a an android formerly known as Odin uh, until she is taken into their midst and then taken to Kaiase for training. Um, and I mean, look, I love Rizian. I love his writing. I, I I was telling him not so long ago that I think that Rizian might be the the my most read author in my life. Like when I really go back and look at it, when I really go back and look at all of the roleplay logs that I have seen from him, all of the years, the the near decade of writing uh, that he has done for his characters. Um, you know, I, I, I told him, you know, not too long ago that, uh, I think that you might be my most read author of all time. Like, um, I've, I think that he has written literal books, uh, worth of information. And I, I think that I have read almost every single one of them. Um, I'd be surprised that there's something that I, him, that I had not read. And, and I enjoy every minute of it. I know that we're friends. I know that there is kind of a bias that exists between us. But, like, he always brings something to the table that I truly enjoy. I love his writing style. I think that Rizian is just a uh, – he is someone who is very – he's very capable of communicating, like, very deep emotions through – not through di- dialogue, but actually through action. And the way that his characters interact and they work, um, even Nova like has had like injuries over time that represent her backstory, that represent her dualities with her, um, with her training and with her mindset, and uh, and even if in the moment of things, even if in the moment of things like my own characters have questioned that like afterward, I can look back at as a reader and say like wow. Like, wow, he, he's really, like, there is a deepness to these characters that is so much, is done in a way that, that no one else on the chat channel really does. Uh, he imposes weaknesses on his character, especially Nova. Nova has been, like, the, the prime target of sort of many of the weaknesses that he has applied to both, in a way, enhance her legacy, enhance her strength, as well as to, again, weaken her uh by giving her these physical flaws, uh, things that, you know, like, whether it's powers and abilities that when she uses, like, literally hurt her to use, or having transformations that she can't control. Um, like, Rizian is one of the best role players on Dragon Ball Infinity for just his his conceptual scale of the character and seeing them in such a long-term capacity. Uh, he he acts in the present moment on things that none of us have read or understand. He gives the again those weaknesses. They come from things that have not appeared in the backstory yet because he knows the character so well that even though he hasn't shown us why these things are the way they are, uh, he knows to he knows to act on them in the present moment. And which is not to say that like he's not capable of just being on the fly. I actually uh, I remember a log at the end of last summer where like just before Kosha went off to fight Fusion, um, all the and after Nova had defeated Genesis, where they like all the the major cast members, kind of like the quote unquote Z warriors, had gotten together and were having just like these drinks on the the side of a waterfall. And I remember him being like. Oh no! Like we're gonna make up plot points on the fly for our characters, um, and and that was that's what's difficult for him. That that's what's difficult for him because he had to insert new things into his character. I remember one story that he told from Nova, like when I think the question was something about uh, what was your like a most embarrassing moment, and Nova replied with like you know I met I met a cute Hydean and we had sort of had a one night stand together. But I had stayed a little bit too late into the morning, and after I woke up, in order to get out of that situation, I like threw an energy blast down in the street and blew up a car so that I could escape while he was looking out the window. 
Um, like, you know, like he can be he like as much as he plans for his character, he also can very easily give this character these insightful moments into their psyche. And I just think that Nova is a incredibly interesting character uh, to scrutinize. Um, and I love her. I, I absolutely love her. And I love that she is the strongest. I, I love that for him and for that character because she has definitely earned it. She has been through so many hardships in her life. And she has spent her life training. Um, the entire saga between like Zofu Lin and Nova following uh, the original Odia Kana uh, arc was was basically just her like training in the background. You see her doing these katas. You see her like practicing these these forms. And then after the Iserian proving, she builds this like giant elaborate temple where she's training children and like. She has dedicated herself to the martial arts. She deserves her spot at the top of the the tier list in terms of power and prowess. Um, and I think if she had a challenger, I think that if she had anyone in the cast who was kind of on her level, um, I think we would see a lot more of Nova. But I think Rizian is being kind to us by by taking breaks from Nova or by focusing on other characters because while he could just continue to power forward and make Nova the an unstoppable juggernaut in the setting he's not interested in necessarily like Nova is interested in being the strongest but the writer Riz is cognizant or aware of the fact that he had pulled away so far ahead of everyone that he he just needed to give this character time and let this character kind of like soak and bake into the background to the point where again like the last time that we've really seen Nova on the channel doing her thing was not something that he planned for it wasn't something that he was trying to do the Dragon Ball saga fell into his lap people came to her as the enemy um, as the opponent as the challenger and he just responded. He was just reacting because that's what the strongest does. And I think that this is such a wonderful place for that character. I think her existing in this realm where where Nova is, uh, where all of her hard work and all of her effort and all of her dedication to the martial arts has paid off to the point where, where Rizian can basically just rely on the fact that because he has done his character so well... He doesn't even need to have an ongoing arc or an ongoing story for them necessarily. He just has to wait for people to eventually and finally come to him because she is the power on top of the mountain. She is the the strongest of the player character cast, and she embodies it so well. Um, and I just think that Nova is amazing. There's... Um, there's so much more about her backstory that I would love to talk about. Like her connection to the Psy Hardens is done in such a a wonderful way. Like it, it would have been so easy for Riz to just make like the son of Ragnios, but instead he chose kind of this ulterior path. He chose for there to even be like completely different, like separated mentor from uh, the previous Psy Harden from Ragnios. You know, he went to Sun Yu. He went to Odin. He used those NPCs that he is so well known for. And he continues to create these amazing NPCs. It's one of like it's one of his most like one of his most apt like apt abilities is that he creates these fantastic NPCs that always come back and always matter. And uh, no matter how irrelevant they might see in like one in one story, they always come back and they always have more to say. And they always, there's always more to be done with them. There's more to to bring out in them because. Because Rizian doesn't use any character haphazardly. They're, they only exist to push the story forward. And so if they appear at all, it means that there's something important that they need to teach the character or that they have to, to put towards the plot. And um, I'm not saying that Rizian's writing isn't infallible. I'm not saying that he doesn't make mistakes. I don't, I'm not trying to imply that, you know, he's, he's never, he's never, like had some kind of misstep i had I, I think i had a log uh a review for one of his logs the final log in fact of the entire sci and story where i basically you know said that uh 
that it was a little hard to read through, that it was difficult to, to kind of get through because so many new things were being added all at once. But the in, in the grand scheme of things, Nova is this character within the setting that exists as kind of a, like, uh, you have to reach this level in order to be, like, considered the strongest. Uh, I think that Nova is... Nova and and the player David who uh, who runs this character has done it in such a fantastic such a wonderful way that no one begrudges the fact that she is so powerful that she is so strong and sure she has contemporaries like she's got Endon she has Genesis who is you know up and coming to tier 4 and probably Hypo in the near future I think Hypo is probably going to be the next real contender for the strongest of the strong but i think that she she is the the kind of like uh you know this is this is the mountain like i stand upon the mountaintop she is that character who exists there and she exists there because we all together as a community have put her there you know she <laughs> I mean, I think last summer is the perfect example. Just everybody, everybody deciding that Nova is the mountain to climb. Nova is the the mountain to aspire to, the one, the one above all, kind of deal. Um, I, I'm not saying she can't be beaten. I'm not saying that you couldn't take her. I'm not saying that even someone who's lower tier couldn't defeat her. All I'm saying is that she embodies what we consider to be all of the attributes that make up the strongest character. And I don't think that's for no reason. I think that her backstory, I think the time and the energy and just the character that Rizian has created through Nova makes her that character. And I think she will always kind of be in that spotlight. I think that she will always exist within that realm as this like hurdle to overcome because she is the strongest. She does have the best motivations and the best reasons and the best backstory and everything to stand as the at the mountaintop. Um, there's just no way to deny it, and that is that has a lot to do with the fact that she's a Saiyan. That has a lot to do with the fact that she has a legacy tied to a previous era character. But more than anything, it has to do with the way that Rizian writes her. And Rizian writes Nova as this kind of serene martial arts sage in everything that is going on. She is a sage. Um, she might not see herself that way. If you were to ask the character how she sees herself, you know, she would probably be, you know, embarrassed more than flattered that that someone sees that. But it's because he presents this character who is so dedicated but also has her own goals and ambitions like the fact of her gathering the dragon balls and restoring the um and restoring the planet vegeta like she has these other goals these things that are buried underneath that are her driving force but the core concept of the character is someone who is dedicated to being strong and being someone who is undefeatable um for but that strength that that resolve that indomitable power comes from those very ambitions that drive her in her smallest moments um there's a lot of logs that i would say are nova's best i think that rizian um and again i am a fanboy i absolutely love rizian i absolutely love his writing i again i don't think there's anything that he's written that i haven't really enjoyed i might have complaints or problems from time to time with specific parts of it but overall like his writing style is exactly what i'm read from day to day i'm always excited whenever rizian puts out a new puts out something new and i if if i had to pick one if i had to pick one log that i think really embodies who nova is um i know that it i know that this is a while back and a lot of you don't really remember this era of role play. Mo many of you weren't even around, including I think many of our RPC members. So they they may not remember this. But I think my favorite log from Nova is actually the. It's not quite the introduction. It's part of se the Sector Eight story 
whenever it's thousand Mosin and Nova, and it's the it's the log where they're in the sewers, and it's after Nova had kind of been injected with something from uh, kind of a sinister organization that was going around at the time. It's uh, and and it's her kind of talking with thousand, her kind of talking with thousand and Mosin. Uh, about her ambitions, about who she is, um, and I, I think that I think that was that was that moment, and I think that that role play in particular is so special to me because it's before Nova became the the titular character that she is. It's when she was just like anybody else; she was just another character in the chat channel trying to make her way, and uh, and I think it was one of her most. It was a very vulnerable moment. Um, where she, you know, she talked about a lot of her fears, and she talked about uh, a lot of uh, a lot of what her aspirations were. And this was in the in the era like where they were all going to go try and find Corin's tower. Um, I don't even think those logs are still on the forums because of how we reshaped them. So I, I don't know how difficult it would be to find it. But that one in particular stands out to me for that reason. But if I had to choose one that is kind of more in the the realm of, of what people remember. I think that Nova Serenity uh, is the next best one, and that's kind of where Nova sort of gives up on the idea of the Psy Harden. She gives up on trying to live up to the legacy of Ragnios and the legacy of Sun Yu, and she just wants to go her own way. And that's what led to the creation of Nova Sanctuary. That's, I think, the, the breaking point where she decides... That maybe if she does get her hands on Dragon Ball, she's going to wish back Vegeta. I feel like that's where the character is kind of liberated from the past. Even if she is going to continue to be a Psy Harden, even if she is going to continue to follow that path, that was the moment where she also said, it's okay for me to want things for myself. And I think that log was really beautiful. That was another one in 2023 that I think was just like a really wonderful, really beautiful log. Um... And even the last one, the last one, or second to last, maybe, with Kwai, uh, I Am Not Your Daughter, uh, I think that one was a really beautiful one, because that is also another one where she is kind of breaking the chains, breaking the things that were holding her back, breaking the the things that were stopping her from wanting to pursue her own life and pursue her own ambitions, uh, where she was making making the change and making the separations needed for this character to go forward. And if there's something that I want for this character in the future, if there's something that I want for Nova uh, in the future, I mean, <laughs> really, it's just I want to see more, obviously. I want, I want Nova to have a real challenger. Um, I want someone to enter into Nova's realm and for her to take a definitive interest and more than anything I actually want her to have a villain a and I'm not going to say nemesis although that's kind of the way that I mean it like I want her to have a rival I want someone who wants to meet Nova at this level and fight her on her own terms and for her to love every second of it and if I had to pick somebody in the roleplay universe right now who could be that person I think that it could be Genesis I think that Genesis could be the character who kind of matches Nova but I don't think that Genesis has kind of the spirituality the the it's not that he's not dedicated it's that he has a more frivolous approach to it and maybe opposites attract that kind of thing but I would like someone to come into her realm who she is absolutely excited about. So if it's not Genesis, I think the other option might be Soliath. I think that Soliath might be the one. Um, you could make an argument that Koshiro could maybe become it or that Fusion could become it. But I, those characters have some very wild kind of big ambitions, whereas I think Soliath has the kind of background, the kind of training, um, and the kind of mentality that matches Nova really well, and it also helps that they're both like pure blood Saiyans. Um, so I I think that if there are if there is a rival for Nova in this setting, I think that it is Soliath 
or it is Genesis. Um, unless, unless, and this has just become my final like bullet point, my final little. Um, I think that Yugen is actually her rival. I think that Yugen could be her ultimate rival, but Yugen's got to get on the channel more. Um, if Yugen were, uh, if Yugen were pushing more, I think that he he would be perfect. He would be the the best one to fight Nova. I think they are totally in sync, and I think that's why Nova chose him as the master of the sanctuary while she's preparing to leave and go to Vegeta. Um, but I, I think that's what I want more than anything for Nova. I want her to have like a real enemy. I want her to have a real nemesis or a rival in some way. I want her to, I want her to be excited about someone who is upcoming, uh, and to uh, to find someone who matches her intensity uh, with the martial arts and her dedication towards these these crafts. I, I think those three characters are the best suited. Uh, Saliath, Genesis, and Yugen. I think those three characters could become her, the rival that she needs uh, to keep pushing her forward, to keep, to keep seeing this character make, to progress into the future. Um, so yeah, uh, this was the RP spotlight for Nova. <laughs>